short story before I share this piece. Just a decade ago, I was an evangelical and a homophobe. Those of you who know me in recent years may be surprised to know that, but it is true. And what broke me out of my cult, no, it wasn't really a cult, but what broke me out of my subculture, because it really is a subculture, was actually the invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq. And at that time, my significant other was a foreigner. And I also, in my spiritual community, was a part of the international group. And I was very disturbed with what was going on. And I couldn't find the same kind of disturbedness in my circle. And I went on a bus to DC before we actually uh, invaded Iraq. And I knew I was the only evangelical on the bus. <laughs> I was freaked out. I was going, oh, when they find out where I am from. And guess who my buddy was for the march of the sea? A wonderful lesbian was my buddy. And I thought, I'm going to say the wrong things today because what do you say? And I've learned a lot since that time, and I continue to learn a lot and stretch a lot, and what I knew would make a big difference is having, you know, people in my life. Not just politics, but people in my life. At the dinner table, across the cafe, in my programming, um, that would teach me the real thing. So I'm going to share a poem with you that deals with our theme about challenging militarism and what I find to be connections around violence and culture, with a look to hope at the end. And with all the busyness preparing, I haven't had a chance to really go through this, so I'm going to do my best for you. It's called Eyes Wide Open. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Dad died from bone marrow transplant complications within the first year. The VA, Veterans, Asso Veterans Affairs, sent a letter to his third wife, since he was married to her the longest, to acknowledge Agent Orange use in Vietnam. Was it fault for vets with CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia? When the letter arrived, he would have been 58, and already was dead seven years. Dad's PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, diagnosed after diagnosis of CML, hit a number of people, children and wives, with the belts and words and hands, the same hands that held us with hugs. Dad's youngest enlisted AF. Air Force, just before the cutoff age of 28, 10 years older than Dad, who joined the same military branch to escape his abusive father. Dishonorably discharged from the Navy of WW2, World War II. Dad died 12 years ago this Thanksgiving. 10 of those years, the USA, United States of America, has warred on the peoples of Afghanistan, and for eight on the peoples of Iraq, as we have warred on peoples of this continent and all over the world, steeping our nation's story in blood. For the land of the free and the home These memories spun while attending EWO, Eyes Wide Open, an exhibit representing human loss from certain U.S. invasions. The boots, the shoes, the tiles of oak not only killed soldiers and civilians, but all their loved ones. The web is wide, the strands are many. 
yet hope connects us. As long as we see ourselves in one another, as long as we remember everyone is someone's child, as long as we turn to the light that holds us all. <laughs>